What's up? We are here with Kevin Steffens. He is the studio head for Monolith Productions, and we just finished looking at Shadows of Mordor, and it was immediately addicting. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have so many questions, and I know you can't answer all of them, but let's, let's just start off the top. So I'm playing as a character who is possessed by a wraith, so I have all these wonderful wraithy powers. Yes. Absolutely. So you play as Talion, who is possessed by a wraith at the beginning of the game, and uh, you have powers that are both ranger powers and wraith powers, and so uh, we're not going into details on all the different powers, but um, you basically have skill trees for both, and so over the course of the game you can unlock more skills for each, the wraith and the ranger skill set. I got to see a little of it, um, and we, we experienced, I think, is it called wraith mode, or was I calling it that colloquially? Yeah, we call, we talk about the wraith world, and so you enter the wraith world, and so, um, yeah, so it's very similar to when uh, like Frodo or Bilbo puts on the ring in, in the movies, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's different for our game. So it unlocks opportunities in the environment, it shows you where enemies in the environment are, it shows you where opportunities for action we call it, so maybe a fire you can blow up, or a wall you can topple, or a creature you can dominate, or collection, pick up collection items, or you know, just different opportunities. Oh yes, I found them. Um, so there's, a, there's many options you can do with is it just mess messing with the orcs is my main goal, or at least in the demo? Uh, no, that's uh, absolutely not. So there's a full story mode. There's a full story mode. There's multiple characters that you're going to interact with. There's there's definitely a deep story. I mean, the overarching goal of the game is is to you know take on Sauron basically, and so um, basically interacting like with the Nemesis system, interacting with the orc society. Tools. That's just that's one of your tools in your tool toolbox. So um, and that's really what we're bringing that's new to the genre. We believe is the Nemesis system, and that's why that's been the focus of this demo is to just to show you how any orc that you come in contact with can become your ultimate nemesis. So it's, there is no nameless orcs in our game. Every single one of them can kill you, can level up, can you know be dominated by you, can um, kill other orcs in the society and, and raise up in power and ultimately become a war chief that then you later can either kill or dominate. And it's just, it's an ongoing society of just, you know, death and destruction basically. So in the Soren's army mode, you could see world the the world just going on without you if you if you are are defeated yep. people getting not people orcs getting promoted defeating each other um, I did use a lot of the domination mode, which is just one way. One way you can kill or you can dominate, you know, whatever your style is. Great. I liked that a lot. Good, uh, good. Can you tell me about that a little bit more? Sure. So um, being possessed by this wraith, you, over the course of the game, get the ability to dominate the orcs in the world. And so when you dominate an orc, you can command the orc to either go and murder other orcs or to take on, uh, the become a bodyguard of a war chief. They can infiltrate other war chiefs. If they're a bodyguard already, they can actually go and they can... Uh, try to kill their their master, and the beautiful thing is, is it's it's just a hierarchy of power, and so if one war chief falls, another is going to take his place. It's it's really a, a brutal behind enemy lines. You know the orcs are just it's it's like a prison yard. It's like they're just fighting each other for dominance. That's that's really the way we think about it, and so uh, it's it's something where um, you what you're trying to do is gather as many as you can to your side, and so you have the power to dominate and control them, and then once you have them under your power, you can send them to to uh, you know, to attack other orcs or to you know dominate war chiefs. So there's there's and there's also the 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 other animals in the environment too. So there's the Karagors. Did you did you see the Karagors? So they're like the big cats of Mordor. So you can dominate the Karagors. You can ride the Karagors. Um, they and they have lots of powers too. So you know they can you know chew up orcs and you know they can climb. So it's it's there's all these different opportunities what you can do once you you know start dominating the world. Yeah, I saw that right away, even in the demo. I did dominate one of the, the Karagor? Karagors. Karagor. And um, also, I'm not sure what it was called. It looked like a troll. It's a Graug. A growl. Yeah, so it's big, giant, uh, troll-like, but not a troll. It's, you know, they eat trolls for breakfast. So it's, <laughs> it's you know, basically everything in Mordor is kind of turned up to 11. It's it's more powerful than the things you've come to, to, to know because it's been an untamed area just kind of open to grow and, and, and it's, you know, it's a doggy dog doggy eat dog world. So um, yeah, the Grogs are, are a really fun creature. And that's another thing. You can dominate the Grogs and you can ride the Grogs around and they're just like giant tanks of destruction. They were very docile considering how large they were and <laughs> how horrifyingly scary they were. I did like how each, um, each not even maybe a captain maybe a warlord they all had their own specific list of vulnerabilities yep. and strengths yep. and maybe i want to build myself up to certain one or use something i'm strong at so it seems like there's 
a endless strategy per yeah. part. Yeah, it really is true. Every orc is unique for your game, so it's completely procedurally generated. The, the demo we're doing today, it's different every time, which makes it difficult to demo, but it's it's a great game to play because your game's gonna be different than your friend's game. Every time you play the game is gonna be different. Every orc is different. Um, all the attributes that you talked about, the traits, as we call them, the strengths and weakness that are different for each one. So they have personalities, they have their appearance, they have their traits. So it really is a unique experience. Everybody will have different game. No one will have the same game. Um, and that's the thing we're most excited about is just that it is this procedural uh, approach to um, enemies. It's really taking enemies from being just faceless kind of cannon fodder and turning each one into the potential to be your ultimate nemesis. So everyone will have a different experience. Very good. So what is something you hope people take away from the demo and the presentations about this game? Um, just what I just said, that it's unique. I mean, that you're, it's, that we're actually giving you an experience that will not be the same for you or for your friends. Um, everybody will interact with orcs in a way that is completely unique to their experience, and um, they'll have a relationship with enemies that they've never had in a game before, where they'll, they'll fight with the same enemy over and over. It'll be like, you know, it's kind of like the way we talk about it. It's your ultimate villain. It's like, you, you know, if you can imagine um, an experience where you've built this relationship Relationship where you you beat him one time, he beats you another time, and you go back and forth, and you get to know each other. And the enemies comment on it; they remember what happens. If they run away, they'll remember that. If you run away, they'll remember that. And the next time they see you, they're going to tell you, yeah, "I remember you. You ran away from me." And so it's really a unique experience. As a big fan of revenge, this sounds <laughs> fascinating. Um, so we'll check that out coming out in October, and with more tidbits of information coming up in the upcoming months. Check that out. I did, and it's very exciting. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.